Hello and welcome to Inside Unreal, where you can see how to make content using Unreal Engine 4 tools and technology. I'm Zach Parrish, and I'm joined today by Epic Games senior visual effects artist Tim Ellick. Hi, Tim. Hi, Zach. Now, you worked on several of the environmental and weapon effects in Epic's Infiltrator tech demo, is that correct? Yes. Now, can you talk to us about some of the effects that you worked on? I created primarily environment effects and weapon effects, muzzle flashes, impacts, tracers, and then the environment effects would typically include water, smoke, any kind of haze or atmosphere. Now, we're going to be splitting this up into two separate parts. We're going to do uh, one part with some of the effects you worked on, and then we'll save some for, uh, for another video. So what are we going to take a look at here in this first video? Uh, this first video, we're going to look at a uh, muzzle flash. First, I'm going to open the effect in Unreal Cascade. And here you can see there's quite a few components to this effect. And I really only want to pay attention to this one element here which is this large conical shape coming out of the end of the muzzle. Mm -hmm. And I think this is one of the most important elements to this effect because it really helps show the, po the power and, and, and size of the projectile that's probably coming out of the end of this weapon. Okay. Um, and then another element that we have which is new to Unreal Engine 4 is the ability to emit light into the world using our particle lights. And these particle lights are controlled using traditional cascade modules. And light properties are all based off of the initial size and color of the actual particle. Very nice. Now, are there any other elements to this muzzle flare that really start to make it pop, that really kind of bring it to life? Sure. Another thing that I, I really think is important to this effect is the, the distortion that we're using in the world. Um, this is using uh, the refraction in our, in our material, which is a new feature in Unreal Engine 4. We had distortion in Unreal 3, but Unreal 4 we have refraction now. And I really feel like this helps connect the effect to the world and, and just sort of pushes the pixels around and really gives you the, the sense that it's part of the environment. And so here, if I just re-enable all the different elements, you can see the muzzle flash has some venting out coming out of the sides. And there's a, several different components that really help show you that this is also an automatic weapon. Yeah, that, sound, that just looks like it should be loud and powerful and should be able to stop a, a raging elephant. Now, I also noticed that we've got some shell casings flying out of the side of the gun. Yes, the shell casings are, again, they're being emitted through the effect, which is great because now I can control those all in one location. Uh, so you're saying that the muzzle flash and the shell casing coming out are all part of the exact same effect? Yes, the shell casings are in local space, so they inherit the transforms of the weapon. And then I just offset their position so that they eject from the right location on the side of the gun. And if I fly up over here, you can see our giant robot here. <laughs> and he's just pouring shells out into the environment. He burns through the ammo. Yeah, and using a CPU system, I can track the position of these shells and then emit uh, smoke from each shell as it's falling through the world. I see this guy's also got tracer fire as well. Yes. Now, is that part of his muzzle flash effect, or is yeah, that the, separate? The tracer is bundled with the muzzle flash. It, it helps us show the direction without having to add another component and then track two items uh, in matinee. It can just fire off one effect. Okay, so these are some of the impact effects that were seen at the very tail end of Infiltrator when the flying robot is shooting at the ground? Yes, and typically when we're creating an impact effect, there's a couple things we keep in mind. We think about the size of the projectile and also think about the surface that the projectile's impacting. So here we have concrete, so the first thing I did was create some meshes that, are, that came from this concrete on the ground, and they have the same material, so they have the same visual qualities and I'll emit that concrete with Cascade. And because the concrete has a lit material on it, it's accepting the lighting from the world as well as the lighting coming from the particle system. So I notice you're also kicking up a lot of, I guess it would be more dust than it is smoke as the, the concrete gets pulverized. Now, is that actually being lit in the world? Yes, all the dust is being lit by the lights in the world. And so you, you can see here, I added a, a purple light to the, to the side of this effect so that you could get the 
effect of the lighting on the smoke, or the dust. You know, it's funny, you had to move the camera over before I noticed. It looks like there's also a lot of like gravel being kicked up. Yeah, all these little tiny chunks are translucent particles using a translucent material. So they'll get illuminated and lit just like the meshes do, and they'll actually collide and bounce along the ground based on the surface normal and the depth buffer. So those are just little sprites, those aren't really tiny meshes? Yes, they're just all small sprites along with the sparks and they're all using our GPU particle system as well as the new depth buffer collision. In the vista shots of the infiltrator, you'll notice there's a lot of traffic and robots moving around. In this case, I'm just emitting the robot mesh that the modelers created, and I'm attaching lens flares and particle lights to the robot so that as they move through the world, they're actually illuminating all the geometry. And you can see them, more of them back here in the background. We, we use those extensively in the Vista shots to just add an extra detail to the world. That is too cool. Well, thank you very much for your time, and thank you all for joining us, and we will see you all on the next Inside Unreal.